I believe that most of people have common perspective about how climate change affects our well-being in terms of natural resources, endangered species, agriculture, and natural disaster. Little do they know that climate change can also domestically, physically, mentally, and economically affect women more than men, especially those who live in poverty. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Winrada Potokong, a junior year student at Faculty of Arts at Longkorn University. I would like to make a statement about what happens in Thailand to emphasize how climate change affects Thai women in varied aspects of life. As a counter plays a major role in Thai economy and water problems such as inundation and drought are once of the natural disaster we face every year, I feel that this has gigantic impacts on women's life in the countryside, where the solution are yet to be found. There are chronic problems from financial to mental illness. Inundation and drought brings problems to the growth of plants, and that leads to worry about the harvest. Because farmers will find themselves harvest less than they expected or nothing at all. During inundation, medical health and evacuation for pregnant women are always difficult. Regular pregnancy shakeup cannot be done during this period of time. Clearly, that this situation also creates risks to mommy and baby, along with the problem of emergency survival kit, which always lack of female personal use, for instance, sanitary napkins. And due to the role of his gender in Thailand, which I found this is such a cardiac way to label ladies as a food provider for the family, apart from fighting for well-being of plants outside the house, all the house core still belong to women. These situations indicate that women are living under pressure all the time, including some problems that might occur from her husband, who stress out and think that he has rights to act aggressively towards his spouse, which also results as mentally or physically abuses. To get rid of this problem we are facing, this cooperation from state departments and citizens. It requires people to understand various aspects of this, from water management to social patriarchy. I always stand for gender equality, and I support that we need to adopt out the social perspective that health chores should be all the women burdens. During the time that we cannot fix the water management yet, if inundations happened, I will make sure the female personal use and products for infants are sufficiently provided. Lastly, physically and mentally abuses are not acceptable. Even if it's happened within family, that should be illegal. Thank you.